I was in uh, seventh grade. I was doing track, and I was uh, going up for the high jump, and I uh, jumped over the bar and the mat, hit my head on the back of the asphalt. One morning, I woke up and got out of bed, and I felt really dizzy, and then I passed out. They said, like, I probably had a concussion. So we were going down the mountain, messing around, you know, a couple teenagers, and we were probably going too fast. I was wearing a helmet, and I caught my heel edge, kind of flipped back and landed on my head. I did a header, and a girl wiped me out. I was on the floor. All I remember is blacking out, and when I got up, I was really dizzy and cold. We have cement floors at school, so I'm running down the hallway really late to class, and uh, I slipped on something. Uh, they say it was a toothpick, just kind of as a joke, and uh, I fell headfirst in the ground, hit my head. That next weekend, um, I was hanging out with some friends, Tom fell over and hit his head against mine. It was really hard and I started feeling all woozy and nauseated. Started having a lot more symptoms after that. Concussions are, are types of brain injuries. We think that there's this release of chemicals uh, and it's this imbalance of these chemicals in the brain that make kids feel bad. There are more common symptoms after a concussion, of course, would be like confusion immediately after the injury, uh, fatigue, Troubles with sleeping, headaches are extremely common, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise. Never feel weak for, for being evaluated for a head injury. Um, we only have one brain and we need to make sure that we're taking care of it properly. It can be something as simple as you see an injury happen or you see somebody, you know, maybe take some sort of blow to their head. You monitor them, keep an eye on them. And then if they just don't seem themselves, maybe they shake their head, um, it could be various little subtle signs, um, then we would certainly alert the coach to remove that person from the uh, participation. I had a lot of memory loss. I couldn't remember things very well. I ended up being out of school for a week. Bueller? Bueller? I, I like to run and be really active, um, stay fit, and uh, it was really frustrating when I wasn't able to do that. You just had to be there and just kind of wait for your brain to heal. They told me that I needed to just relax and take a while off of soccer so that I can recover. Keep it on the down low. I, I was kind of scared that I, I didn't know what would happen exactly. I was afraid that like I was like gonna be kind of slow down permanently. Usually kids have those problems for a matter of a few days or maybe a few weeks, um, but then the, the problems slowly go away. I was feeling very down. They would talk to me about the things that would happen and like kind of getting back on track. The, the fears kind of went away. When they told me I had a concussion, I was scared that I wouldn't be able to play soccer or that I wouldn't be able to do any kind of athletics. It was kind of scary that all this could happen from just getting hit in the head. If you have a friend who has a concussion, like even if you haven't experienced it yourself, you can still um, give them support. Keep fighting through it. Entertain yourself somehow with toys, like from your childhood or something. New toys! Yeah! Buzz Lightyear, at your service. The quicker you get checked out, the better. This is a temporary problem, um, and it can be quite stressful when somebody's having headaches or trouble concentrating or difficulty with memory. Think of it as, like, money you have to spend each day. Yeah, 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 I got no money. I got no money. I got no money. On a normal day, you have, like, $10. But when you have a concussion, you only have, say, like, $1.50. And, uh, like, just waking up, taking a shower and all that costs you like 25 cents. And running costs you like $2. As soon as you pass that threshold is when you start to get symptoms and you push yourself back in the recovery period. The more I did to push my, my body would actually, like, I, I guess, hold back the recovery period for the concussion and hurt my brain. You have one brain, so always take care of it. The quicker you get checked out, the better. There is really no um, cure for a concussion. Most um, people recover pretty well after a concussion, um, but it's, it's even more important that we try to prevent injuries from happening in, in the first place.